Isn't it awesome that when it comes to video overlays, you can add so many of them into your videos? For example, I'm talking to you about a cute little puppy right now and you're no longer seeing me and you're seeing that cute little guy running in the grass. But what about a blended overlay where it blends in with me and you get to see it? So this one on how to add an overlay to your video. You also see me, you see the overlay and it's a really nice dynamic. So how do you add those into your YouTube videos? Well, if you stick around until the end of this video, I will show you how to add the overlay, but as well, I'm gonna show you how to get them. So let's start off by getting our overlay. To get our overlay, I talked very highly about Canva. It's because I use it and it's awesome. So to go to Canva, you simply go on the right-hand side and go create a design. From there, in this case, because we're talking about video overlays, it happens to be classified as YouTube video ads. So once you click it, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna open. And what you're gonna notice is on the left-hand side, you got templates, elements, uploads, photos, text, and logos. Let's start off by clicking on elements. Now that cute little fur baby that I showed you a moment ago, he's right here, but he's a pro edition and I wanna show you how you can get some free additions. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is keep it on elements and I'm gonna to go to the search and I'm going to search dog walking. That's how I got that dog one. By clicking on it, I wanna filter things. This way you guys can see the free versions. But in the elements section, you get everything from photos, stickers, videos, and more. But to organize it, I'm gonna click on the setting button right here. I'm going to scroll down and under price, I'm gonna hit free and I'm gonna click apply filters. Now I'm gonna to switch to videos and then I'm going to scroll down. For some reason, Canva puts the free stuff on the bottom, but it makes no difference. And you can tell if they're free because the little animation on the bottom right hand corner shows that it's free. So all of these can be used amongst video overlays in your YouTube videos. So in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you these two fur babies right here. So first I'm gonna pull them up and I'm gonna full size them on my screen. Now, if I wanna adjust my video size, there's a scissors right here in the far left hand corner and I can click it. And if I want to make it less than the 14 second video, so let's say six seconds, I go there, I shorten the length and I click on done. Now my video is six seconds long. Let's go ahead and download the video. So while it's downloading, let me give you a little bonus here. If you notice when I click the download, you have options that you can change the video preference. So it will show you the suggested tab, like right now it's showing MP4 video, but if you wanna switch it to a GIF, if you wanna switch it to a PNG, a JPEG, whatever you want, you do have the options to change it before you do your download. So to add a video overlay into the mix, you have to have an original video first. So I'm using a previous video that I recorded as this demonstration. In this one, I have my video right there, I have my audio there, and I even have a music track. Now, the purpose of it is for an overlay, is you gotta have something overlaying your original video, which means you need another video track. Now, on most editing softwares, it's on the left or the right hand side of the software. In my case, it's here on the far left hand side. Now, if I expand this up for you guys to see, I will also demonstrate how can you tell the difference between a video or an audio track. This is a video track. It has nothing in the mix, it's plain. This is an audio track. It has a volume slider from left to right. So if I need to add one into the mix, let's say I only have my original video track right here, I can simply right click and you can either duplicate or the best way to do so, scroll down to the bottom of your video editing software. Go to a blank option down here and right click. They should give you the option to insert a video or audio track. So if I insert my video track, it then inserts one and I can simply click it and drag it to move it up or down. What I'm gonna do with this video track is I'm gonna move it down to where my original video is, but just above it. So now I'm ready to add my puppies into the mix. So I'm gonna go to my download section and I'm gonna pull up my recent download. Then I'm gonna just drag it straight into my video editing software. Some of them will come with audio and some will not. In this case, this one did not come with audio at all. I can move it any way that I want and let's say, for example, you're playing your video. I put this one on mute, but if I play my video and I expand it for you to see, you will then see the puppies are right there in front of me. So that's how you add a standard video overlay. But how do you add a blended video overlay 
Well, we're gonna check that out right now. So if I'm still sticking to Canva for a blended overlay, and this one I'm gonna do with some text, then I'm gonna go to their template section. I really like the different types of templates that they have, and you can go ahead and play around with them. For example, in this one. So this one, as soon as you open it, it has three different types of overlays that you can use. This one is just a pre-generated food one, so I'm gonna go with something like this. Now, there are different options that you can do. You can, for example, you can use the existing portion of the video or you can simply cut it out. But let's say this baked fresh daily. Let's say hypothetically, I wanted to put this into my video. I can simply leave it the exact same way it is. But if I don't want these little graphics, I can take them out just like this. And even the color, let's change the color to something else. Let's change it to this little purple. Now for your actual text, you can choose however way you want it to be animated into your video. So right now, according to Canva, it's listed as tumble. So if I click on there, I have different ones I can play around with. Any one that has a crown mean that it's the pro paid version by Canva, but I can simply go with the free ones and add any single one that I want into my video. So let's use this one block. That looks pretty good to me five seconds and let's go ahead and download it. Blended overlays or solid overlays kind of share the same thing in common and they both sit just on top of your video. So just like the puppies, we're gonna rest our new overlay right on top of the original. But the only difference is, is I gotta make it blended in. So to do so, you just gotta adjust one simple setting amongst your overlay. With most video editing softwares, they have the capability of adjusting the saturation or what you might call the opacity or opacity or something like that. On Vegas Movie Studio Pro 16, which is what I use, they go with the name that I can't pronounce, which is just right here on my overlay. Now, if you don't see it on the actual overlay video track, you can right click and you might find it amongst your settings here. But in mine, all I gotta do is click on here, drag it down to about 50%, and if I press play, you will now have a blended overlay. And just like that, you now know how to use overlays in your videos. So go ahead, start incorporating those overlays into your videos so that way your audience and your viewers can enjoy it a lot more.